But for those of you who watch my videos, you probably realize that most of my videos usually have a theme, whether it be weekly or chaos coaching, but not today. For today's video, we're actually just gonna be going over our lineup changes, some of our changes to our abilities. Oh, and we matched up with the number two ranked player in Mud Head to Head. Let's get into the video. What's good, everybody, and we're back. I know it's been a while since we've uploaded the video, but we're back today, so I hope it hasn't been too long for you all. Quickly, before we get into this video, I do want to get into the video quickly here. I just want to ask, first, that if you enjoy the videos, please hit that like button for me. It really helps me out. And secondly, I want to know how everybody's doing. So let me know in the comments section how you all are doing, how your football team's doing. If you're an NFL, if you're a big NFL fan, how your team's doing. Would love to hear from you all. Now, let's get over to the lineup here, see what small amount of changes that we made to our team and to our abilities, then we'll jump into the game. So for the offense, we really haven't made too many changes. We still have Michael Vick as our starting QB. Reggie Bush is our starting running back. We did pick up Barry Sanders as a backup running back now. And the reason behind that is I like to use the backup running back to sub in into a wide receiver position at times. And that way we can audible down to effective running formations like an I form close that have two wide receivers, two running backs, and one tight end. In order to do that, we needed a running back that we felt comfortable putting out at the wide receiver position. And I definitely think Barry Sanders can do that. As for the wide receivers, still pretty similar to the last time, if not the exact same. Tyrone Calico is the starting wide receiver. Brandon Cooks and Marvin Harrison. We still have Mark Clayton as a backup and we have Reggie Wayne as a backup as well. The reason behind that is, is we feel like, again, with bench press, even though it's now three AP, we still need backup receivers in case we run into someone using bench presses and we need to sub in our backup receivers. So those are the two that we're using. Again, I feel like you should be comfortable with whoever your backups are to sub them in the game here or there. And we still have Joe Michael Finley as our starting tight end. O-line hasn't changed very much. And now we'll go back into the abilities. Our chemistries are pretty much the same. We're still using uh, Sprinter and Go Deep and everything like that on offense. Hasn't really changed much at all. Michael Vick, we just have an X-Factor Bazooka. No uh, actual abilities on them. Backfield master on Reggie Bush. Tyrone Calico, just, uh, uh, just double me. Brandon Cooks, deep in elite. Joe Thomas, edge protector. Marvin Harrison, route technician, outside apprentice. That has not changed. Phil Lodehold, edge protector. And then Jermichael Finley, we have mid in elite and tight end apprentice. So those are the abilities and X-Factors. Slight changes are picking up the two edge protectors and then now switching to uh, pick up Brandon Cooks with that deep in elite. Again, just kind of playing around with the abilities, trying to work through uh, what we're going to be using. Changes almost every single video. Still have not found the perfect formula, if you will. I don't know if there is a perfect formula. Kind of just going with, with what you feel and go and go from there. We'll, we'll find out something that we're pretty much comfortable in. We have a few abilities that we're kind of locked into on offense right now, but still switching from time to time. Haven't used edge protectors in any videos yet. This is the fir first one we're doing that for. So on the defensive side, we picked up Micah Hyde. We also picked up Tyran Matthew. Uh, I don't know why I just said I picked up Tyran Matthew. If you've seen the videos, you know we've had Tyron Matthew for a few videos now. We did pick up Micah Hyde, though. Lawrence Taylor, Junior Seau. Shaquille Barrett is a new pickup for the team. We replaced Elvis Dumerville there. Taylor Mays is a new pickup. We have Jamal Adams still. And in the corners, Byron Jones, Denzel Ward, Namdi Asamoa, and Deion Sanders. Now, last video, I was playing Deion Sanders at the free safety position. I actually changed that now. We're now using Deion Sanders outside, and I moved Byron Jones to the free safety position. I think I was wrong when I said Deion Sanders is more of a free safety. I've started using Deion Sanders at corner, and I think Deion's done a great job. So that's that's my new recommendation. Things change from time to time. That's how we're doing it right now. Miles Garrett, Aaron Donald, Linval Joseph, and Fletcher Cox. Excuse me, Linval Joseph and, L and Fletcher Cox will round out the defense. Going back over to the abilities here, just to kind of finish that off here. Deion Sanders, we have um, we have bench press on. Namdi Asawa, we have bench press. Denzel War, we have bench press. Byron Jones, we just have universal coverage, no actual abilities. And then we have Miles Garrett with double or nothing. This is a new ability I just started trying uh, yesterday. So something that we're trying, I think it's actually pretty effective. We'll go and see how it changes. Cause again, I've changed my abilities on defense a lot this year, but I think I like this one. And again, I think bench press is still very good. Even at three AP, it's probably still worth it, at least right now to have three out there. So that's how I feel on the defense. That's it for the offense and defense. Now we'll just scroll over here to get over to the lineup and, excuse me, the uh, playbooks, and we'll kind of get into this video. So Raiders offense, I know it's a slight change. We've been in Chargers the entire year, it feels like. Raiders is going to be really similar. Still going to be in trips tight end the majority of the game. I just feel like the Raiders offers a little bit more of an audible down ability. So like I form close for that matter. And then on defense, we're using the 4-6, no longer using multiple 
because we want to have that nickel 335 and big nickel over g so that's our changes very slight even though both playbooks changed it's still very light slight changes enough for the lineup let's get into the game all right here we go with this one you see the top right hand corner trey thomas this is going to be a good game this is a very very good player it should be a good one we're actually going to come out of this bunch quads for this qb draw definitely something that can be really effective if you have pretty good run stick we did not right there i just ran right into our line we're going to try it again here because that was not very good we're on conservative to try to make sure we don't fumble the ball here and that was a little bit better but still didn't gain a ton of yards we're going to pass the ball here gonna be kind of a feel out drive to see what our opponent likes to do here they're in this dollar we have our post we have our post go finley go finley go finley we'll definitely take that let's go continuing to mix in the pass right here we did sub in barry sanders though just so we can have that offer can we get that of audible down to the run we weren't able to fit that pass in. That's okay. I want to have Barry Sanders out there, though, just so that we can have that threat. We can audible down to I form close whenever we want to right now, and our opponent kind of has to worry about that, right? So keep that in mind. If they come out on that dollar, I may audible down here. And it looks like they're actually in 3-3-5, which is fine. We're going to actually pass the ball. If they're going to come out in 3-3-5, we're going to kind of force that on them to make them not come out on that dollar. We should have one of our slant or... There we go. Let's say we're going to have our slant or our post. Great catch from Harrison. Don't want to take any hit sticks. We'll take the catch, though. Going to this inside zone now, though. We're going to see if they have defense for that as well. We had some space there. We had some space. This is a big third down here. We definitely do not want to take three after a pretty decent drive here. Looking for our C route. Looking for our C route. Go. We dropped it. Not ideal. Definitely not ideal. I want to go for this. I'm hoping we can get this crosser if they leave it this time. If not, we'll take our... We're going to have our drag. We're going to have our drag. Let's go, Finley. Let's go. We needed that. Going back to this inside zone. They had perfect run defense for it. They had perfect run D for it. That, that was not great. We're actually going to see if this counter is going to work here. I feel like it definitely could. I feel like it definitely could. And Reggie Bush is going to go. We'll definitely take the touchdown. Now we need to stop. Now we just want to try to make sure that Trey has to work on this drive, right? We don't want to get up any quick touchdowns. Nothing over the top. Make them work. Try to see what they like to do. Ooh. That was close. Try to make sure that we figure out what they want to do. Get that feel out drive without giving up any big plays and see what we can do. They're coming out in this gun bunch, which is okay with us. We're just going to try to see what they like to do out of it and try not to make any mistakes. That's all we can do is try to do our best without making any mistakes right here. They're going to probably have that crosser. Oh, we almost made a play. We'll definitely take the knockout. That is, I thought that was open, to be honest. We, we were able to make the play, knock it out. We'll take it from our defense. We don't want to give up this crosser right here if they do that again. Ooh, nice read, nice read. That's okay. The tight end is mine here if they go on anything other than a crosser. The tight end's mine. Knock that out. Ooh, great possession catch. I like our defense right here. I feel like this could stop anything that they're doing. Nothing's there. Nothing's there. We're running at them. Oh, great late read. We're doing the best we can right now. They're dotting us. They're going down to this single back now. I'm expecting a run here. Hopefully, we don't give up anything over the top. Ah, uh, we didn't get set up. We didn't get quite set up right there. They're going back to this gun bunch right here. We have to continue to just try to do our best job right here. I'm actually going to put this down in a hook curl to try to stop any slants. I'm on the crosser. Can we get to that? Oh, that was that was awesome read very tight window great pass i like our setup right here i think we should get we shouldn't give up anything just because they have the edge zone working against them now so they shouldn't have anything over the top and we're gonna have a chance at it we're gonna have a chance at it that's lawrence taylor i don't mind the drop we'll take the incompletion changing up our defensive adjustments a little bit we're gonna have a, a purple on the right side on the left side to make sure we don't give up anything over there nice read hit stick Ooh. gotta watch anything going over the middle right here the middle is ours on the drag oh great route Great route. We should have kept the purple over there like we did the last play. Great drive from Trey. We've got some time here before half, though. If we can get some type of points, that'll definitely do us pretty well here. We should have our C route on the outside. Good job, Marvin. We'll take it. Hopefully, they're not setting pressure right here because we're not blocking any extra. They didn't. We should have our crossing route. We should have it. Great pass from Michael Vick right where we needed it. This looks like it could be pressure right here. It's going to be. We should have our flat. We should have our flat. We couldn't get it. We couldn't get the pass out of time. I think I like this QB draw look here. It could be good defensive again against it, but I feel like we might have an opening. We're going to have to try it. This could be something that we learn for the second half just, in, just to see. We should have the outside. Go, Michael Vick. Go, Michael Vick. Get to the sidelines. Don't take any hits. This looks like it'll be pressure right here. We should have the smoke screen. We couldn't get the pass out. We had a touchdown to the slant. We had an open pass to the smoke screen. 
we couldn't get either of them off great blitz we'll take our field goal now what's important on this drive is to make sure we don't give up any long touchdowns any long touchdowns would definitely hurt us we have a chance at it definitely want to knock that out we do not want to give up any long any long plays right here because if we give up any points before half it puts us definitely at a disadvantage i have to watch the quick flats right here and then work our way back to the left that's fine oh i was not ready to lurk that that was definitely not my best lurk that could have been open but we'll take it we're gonna get the ball back we have another chance at points it looks like they're gonna send a lot of pressure right here we might be able to get this fade on the outside if they try to send too many people nope we're gonna end up just turning it over on downs that's fine they only have four seconds without any timeouts they should not be able to get into field goal range we should go into halftime with a three-point lead so we had a chance there we weren't able to capitalize and get the three points that's cool as long as we get to stop right here in a half we'll, we'll definitely be in a good spot we had the lead and we'll definitely take that any day of the week looking like a slant going to the right side right here nothing's there send our zone oh they were able to outrun lt that's escape artist right there that's definitely a play from escape artist right there that's okay gotta watch vic from now on we can't oh read option was not ready for the read option whatsoever nice play gonna make sure we're setting this option defense to conservative now so we can watch the qb we don't want to give that up anymore we definitely do not want to be having to worry about the read option empty bunch this could be draw here i'm actually gonna play for draw we're gonna play for draw i'll end up playing on the safety here if it is draw it works better if not in the auto back down here that's not gonna be draw I don't know what it's going to be. I don't know what it's going to be. Okay, it's going to be a stretch. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not what we wanted to do out of halftime whatsoever. We're going to have to answer back. Well, we definitely didn't get that stop that we wanted. They scored in three plays. Definitely not what we wanted there. But we still have a chance here. We're only down four. If we go down and get seven, we'll be right back in a good spot. It looks like they're actually coming out in this disengaged defense. Hopefully, we can block anything that they're sending at us. We're going to be able to block that. We'll take this drag. Let's go Finley. Let's go Finley. As long as we're able to block that disengage, it shouldn't give us any trouble. Actually going to the inside zone here. We want to make sure that they have inside zone defense because if they don't, we should be able to take advantage of it. We'll take the first down. We would also like to see if they have QB draw defense out of this. We want to test it. They, they didn't have the QB draw defense out of the big nickel, it looked like. Let's see if they had it, have it out of this. We have, we have it to the right. We have it to the right. Don't take any hits, though. I didn't want to take any hits. When you take hits with your QB, it makes them a little bit more tired. We'll see what Vic's at. See, Vic's in the orange. That's likely because I took a hit right there. If you can avoid hits, sliding, getting out of bounds, those are the most ideal situations. But we'll see how it goes here. I actually didn't go back to this inside zone. I feel like the inside zone looked like it was pretty good the time before. Oh, I didn't make the cut. It's because I'm holding the right trigger. That's all on me. Hopefully, we pick up this pressure once again from this disengage. We should have our angle route. We should have our angle. Good job, Reggie Bush. I like the look of this draw last time we ran it. I felt like it was there. Hopefully we can get it off here. We don't take too much time, but I like the look of it before. So we're going to try it again here. Got the hike off. We have the right side. We have the right side. We're going to slide this time. We're not going to slide this time. I tried. Again, we don't want to take those hits if we don't have to. Big drive right here. Now that we're in the red zone, we got to continue to try to pick up the pressure. We should have the speed out. We should have it. We caught it. That was close. I wasn't sure if that was going to be an interception or a catch. It was a catch. Now that we're in the red zone, we have to try to run the ball effectively and try to get seven right here because three doesn't really help us a ton because we're down four. So in this late in the game now, run commit, run commit. Nice, smart play, smart play. We definitely don't want to make any mistakes down here either. We're going to have to pass. We have the slant. We have the slant. Marvin, great catch. Now we're going to this strong, tight dive. Hopefully they cannot shoot the gap on it. They can. We're going to have to do something else. I think this counter is going to be there. I think this counter is going to be there. We're going to it here. I think it's going to be there. And we're in. All right. Three-point lead pending the extra point. Now we need to stop. Three minutes. Uh, just under three minutes. Let's see what we can do. We're coming out in this gum bunch now. We have to be ready for the pass. I'm actually going to put a purple on the left side to watch any corner routes. Oh, great read. Great knockout. I'm watching the left side myself. I'm going to lurk on this right side, but we're going straight to the left here as soon as they hike the ball. I, I couldn't get there fast enough. I could not get there fast enough. We're doing the same strategy here. We're lurking to the right as soon as they hike the ball. Hopefully we got there faster this time. We did. Oh, we got a pick with LT. We got a pick with LT. We'll definitely take it. One person to beat. Oh, we didn't get the end zone. That probably would have put us in position to win the game. But you know what? We just need seven. Great play from LT. We're just going to run inside zone right here. We want to waste as much clock as possible. That's fine. We want to get that clock moving or make them take timeouts. They're likely going to send pressure right here. We're going to make them lurk this left side and then kind of go from there. We have this out route. We have this out route. Play stay in bounds. 
It went out of bounds. That's not what you want to do. If they give us this counter, we're going to go to that counter because I think it could be there. They shifted across. We're still going to go to it. I want to make them waste clock. We're going to go to the counter. Ah, I wasn't there. We, may, we allowed them to keep a timeout by going out of bounds, but we were able to take two away. We're not going to be up the two possessions that we wanted to be, but we should be up six after this field goal. And we're going to have to get another stop. That's the only way about it. We would have liked to pick six. We didn't get it. We weren't able to make them miss. That's on us. Let's see if we can get a stop. I'm lurking to the right again. I'm doing the exact same thing we did before. I'm lurking to the right. Make a tackle. That's perfectly fine. Make a tackle and bounce. That's perfectly fine. Oh, we didn't get to... We didn't get the exact adjustments that we had wanted to make there. Ah, uh, great late read. Great late read and nice move. Nice move as well. I like the defense we have set up right here. Again, we just want to keep everything in front and any tackles inbounds that we can get and we can go from there. Oh, Denzel Ward. I shouldn't have went for the pick. We could have just made the tackle inbounds. That's all on me. Same thing here. I want to continue to lurk this right side. I don't want to give up any corner routes to the sidelines, anything like that. Anything that's over across the middle, we don't want to give up any big plays, but anything that's inbounds is better than not. And that's a, that's not a catch. Oh, that was, woo, that was close. Same thing here. Again, keep everything inbounds. That's the first priority. Second priority is not getting up a lot of yards, but definitely the first priority is just not to give up anything over the top. No crossing routes are really there. We don't want any rebound. We don't want any reroutes here. I don't want to send anybody either. Can we get a pick on that? Okay, we'll take the incompletion. Big fourth down right here. I like our play here. We're running straight to the right to take away any corner routes. That's going to be our priority. After that, we can watch whatever they're going to do. Nothing's open on the right side. I'm watching for reroutes. I'm watching for reroutes. Are they going to be able to scramble for it? They're going to be able to scramble for it. Oh, no. I've got to watch the middle of the field. We have one player that's not manned up. That is my responsibility. No one else. Okay, that's fine. Can we make a tackle on Vic? One pick. Yes. Yes. That is going to be the game. That is going to be the game. Let's go. Amazing game to Trey. That is going to do it. I'm, I'm exhausted after that one. That one took a lot of energy. Very draining. Amazing game. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Only if you want to. I love you all. Take it easy. Peace. That was one of the best games I've been a part of all year.